Thanks, fast internet. Um, so that's perfect. Because we have to we definitely have enough time to thank the people. That's you guys. Uh, and then we'll play the demo. And then at the end, we'll rewatch the presentation, huh? How about that? Ah. Wow. That's a big wow. Am I planning on looking up any of the Steam Next Fest demos? Not anymore. Now it's full steam ahead. Infinite wealth. Gotta do it. Gotta get it done as fast as possible. Because, um, this... This looks super huge. And I must... Must beat one of those games before Dragon's Dogma. I must. Dear God. 50 gig for a fucking demo? You know why, right? The, the, the full game is like what? Like 150 or 200 gigs or something? It's like enormous. Um, the reason why it's, uh, yeah, 160 gigs. The reason why the, the demo is so huge is because it likely is included. It has all of the required assets for the entirety of the Nibelheim section, as well as maybe the Junon section. So it probably has like the shared assets for like 30 or 40 percent of the game. <sighs> all right, let's thank some people. First of all, I want to thank Buzzard for subbing. Thanks, Buzzard. Martin Dicklich sub. Thanks, Martin Dicklich. I hope your Dicklitching goes well. I hope it goes very well. Dicklich. Is that, like, what I'll be once I die and Paige turns me into a reanimated skeleton? Shirtle sub. Thanks, Shirtle. Had a neighborhood cap jump on my truck when I was trying to get out. Spent 30 minutes just chilling together, petting him. Today was good. Oh, that rules. Cats. Yee. Anonymous kicked in five bucks. Thanks, Anonymous. Appreciate it. Blastio Boots kicked in five bucks. Recent Pal World patch fixed a bunch of base hopping pal bugs and made it so you can always move a bit when you're over carry weight. That and Wooly's grapple hook exploit means I'm now spider manning 10 times my weight cap in ore back to base. That rules. That kicks butt. Strum Thumb kicked in a sub. Thank you. Hey, Paige. Hey, Peach Saliva. Oh, uh, you know how, how we didn't know what to do for dinner? Today's a pizza day. Today's a day for pizza. Yeah, I gotta fucking get my yeah. You know when you you know when you're like you're like getting your into your ass groove, and you have to like shake your butt a little bit so that your fucking dick and balls fall into your thigh groove. It's vital. You gotta like. Mm, mm, mm. There you go. Yeah. McScrunky sub. Thanks, McScrunkies. Hi, Pat. Hope's all well. Thanks for the great content. Your streams and such really helped me with my own brain goblins. No problem, man. I hope you're having a good day. Fringe sub. Thank you. This is good lord. Good lord indeed. Thank you. Peepo the red panda sub. Thank you. Goko golem sub says I removed the shell from my racing snail to make it go faster, but it just made it more slug. Oh! Oh, man! F Ooh. Oh, that's pretty good. Mm. Sir Tim Bob sub. Thanks, man. Papa Jimbo kicked in a sub. Says, uh, you know what? Actually, hey, is Wooly streaming right now? Papa Jimbo says, watching Wooly play Tekken 8. Yeah, Jin was a piece of shit. Slopping stakes and war crimes. But he's not a piece of shit anymore. He's done? Okay. Hold on. I have. I legitimately have to text him. Jin 
do not watch the FF7 presentation. Do not. <laughs> he already did? Oh no! <laughs> I am being informed I was too late. LOL. <laughs> oh, man. Oh. That's really funny. Vex the list kicked in. A sub. Thanks, Vex. Hey, Pat, I don't understand the controversy around Yang Ye voice and Kiryu. He does a good job, and in context, he fits right in. Especially people nit mixed his karaoke when I feel he's probably the best out of the English cast. His Japanese voice will always be the preference, but I don't get the freak out over the English voice acting. Um, because, uh, th there's, there's three reasons. One is, this is a character that's been in like 15 games with one voice actor. So, people are going to be incredibly, incredibly um, harsh on whoever gets it. Um, uh, the second one is that uh, Yongye is a YouTuber. And uh, whenever somebody from the influencer world uh, gets in as a major role, they get... Uh, an additional level of scrutiny because the assumption is that they were Chris Pratted into the role and that they were grabbed for their notoriety rather than their talent. And the third of which is the couple of early clips that came out sounded like shit. Now that I've been playing the game for a while, yeah, no, he's pretty good. He's not the best in the world. He's fine. Um... But those early bits sounded awful. And that combined with the other two. Um, also, it uh, the singing is really funny because um, it's one of those it's one of those triple threat things where, yeah, no, a lot of like a lot of talented voice actors in Japan are just assumed to be a to be good singers which is not the case out here. <laughs> right? Like, it's... Um, and honestly, um, Kiryu being, like, an incredible singer in Japanese is, like, its own kind of funny joke, but I actually agree that it is more appropriate for most of the cast to sound like shit when they're singing karaoke, I think that's actually, it makes, it, it feels more real. Because I've gone out and, play, and done karaoke with people, and then there's Paige singing, and then there's the rest of my dumbass friends. <laughs> right? Are you saying Paige is bad? No, Jonath. Paige is a singer. Paige has got pipes, man. I just got a message back from Wooly saying, showing absolutely everything. NB Usagi kicked in a sub. Hey, thanks, man. What's up, Pat? Hope that whole domestic thing works on. Sending the usual love and health. Please pick Gee for me. The domestic thing? Like, hitting my wife? Or like... Because that's what I hear. That's what my brain does when 
when I hear like, oh, it's a domestic. Oh, my wife hitting me. Oh, right. Yeah, no, I'm abused. Um, sorry, guys. Um, I forgot. I forgot that I was abused. Um, you know what? Actually, Paige, I was just thinking about this. Like, we've been, we've been, like, married for a while, and we were together for a long time before that, and then we knew each other for a while before that, and we've never accidentally hit each other in the face either. Like, none of the, none of, like, turn, no, oh, it's because I'm fucking short. Because I was about to say, like, none of that, like, turning the corner or getting surprised and, like, accidentally, and it's like, no, it's because she's taller than I am. Also, the, the entire time me and Paige have been together, I have been very careful because, um... Today's a really good example. I was holding the baby, and then I'm like, honey, sweetheart, could you... I, I held out my cup. I was like, could you get me other coffee? And she's like, absolutely. And then she walked over to the... Um, she walked over to the kitchen. She walked out of the living room towards the kitchen, right? And um, Paige has this magical ability where uh, I'm going to emulate... I'm going to play Paige. And um, this is what it's like to be married to Peach Saliva. You go, hey, honey, could I could I get a coffee? I'd really appreciate it. Oh, okay. It's like, oh, let me take that from you. Thanks. Ah, oh, fuck! Ow! Oh. Are you okay, honey? Yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> like, if you're not looking at Paige, she becomes magnet. Like, if no one's looking at her, she becomes magnetized to like uh, countertops and chairs. That happened like uh, four or five hours ago. She walked so hard into the fucking countertop that I think, like, I think she has a bru- Paige, you have a bruise there? Because I know exactly what you did. You you went to turn the corner around the, the kitchen island and instead of moving out of the way, you just walked right into it. Uh, Blastio Boots kicked in $5. Last tip for a while. Lost my job. Oh. That was the wrong uh, tonality um, for that. Um, but because I was applying for disability at the time, they'll probably give me that sweet, sweet don't sue a severance that'll tide me over till I find a new one. Hmm. So what? You lost your job, and then as you were walking out, you went, I'm disabled. And they were like, why are you disabled in an Irish accent? And then you shrugged. <laughs> Leg disabled. What kind of disabled? Leg disabled. Holy shit. You applied the week before? Blast. You applied for disability and got fired a week later? Oh yeah, you've got, you've got leverage. <laughs> oh yeah. You've got leverage. Oh. Neville kicked in a sub, thank you Neville. Dumbled we kicked in the subs is happy. Thank you. Logan Air sub to say yeah. Fakeberg sub. Thanks, man. 
Al Azul kicked in a sub. Holy shit, FF7 Wahoo, they're gonna give us Dolphin Wave Race. <sighs> you know, I'm thinking about the trailer that we just saw. And there was something that I was worried about the FF7 remake games that I was, I don't think I ever said it out loud, which they expanded Midgar so dramatically, right? They expanded Midgar, which is like, you know, a third or a quarter of the first game into like a full game, right? And I was like, well, they can't do that for the rest of FF7. They can't expand it the same amount. And apparently that thought was stupid because they expanded it more. <laughs> I mean, Jesus, guys, like even just the card game, even just the card game. Kai and I kicked in a sub to say, Roach Bros. Thanks, Kai. Hey, Kai, I saw you on Twitter. Kai did something fun. Where I, re I retweeted something, and then he saw it on his timeline, and then scrolled down to comment at Parrot Pat Stares at to send it to me. But it showed up on your fucking timeline because I retweeted it, Kai! It was me! You were sending it to me, but I sent it to you! <laughs> you saw it from James? No, it was me. Only me. Only me. But regardless, Kai9 kicks in 10, $15 actually. Quintuple A games, holy shit. Congrats, we have made it. Quintuple A game budgets. And yeah, okay, if I was Xbox and I saw this shit, I'd fucking close down shop too. Holy shit. $80 billion for literally nothing. Holy fuck. So, you know what's funny? At the end of the trailer, it said it's a console exclusive until May. So, two or three months. That's enough. That's, that's, that's enough. Because that's the the zeitgeist period of everyone just posting 480 screenshots of Red 13 in a Shinra outfit and Tifa's beachwear. Espar Senor subbed. Say they cooked for this. They did. Captain Podoc kicked in five bucks. Thanks, Captain Podoc. Pat, can you explain the whole Zack thing? So does Zack now exist in the same timeline as the rest of the main cast? No. Are we simply getting a glimpse into a timeline where Zack lives? No. Um, Zack is in an alternate timeline. In which he didn't die. Now obviously I'm pulling this out of my butt. But when we did that big boss fight at the end of FF7 Remake, we essentially broke Destiny. Um, and Zack... So there's there's a couple different versions of time, of time travel. It looks like FF7 Remake is going along the time, tr the, the, the time travel idea that if you change something important, you actually just move to a branch. You just create a new timeline. Um, so, it looks like Zack is in a timeline in which Cloud never got good enough to steal his identity. And, uh, in, as a result, most of the cast died when the plate dropped. Basically, what I'm expecting to happen... So, you, you saw that there were, um... You saw that there were six zones. Like, there was the Grasslands, then there was Junon, then there was Cosmo Canyon. My expectation 
is that you will do the Grasslands and the Nibelheim flashback and uh, the Midgar alone, and in the interim path to Junon, where you fought the Turks, you will fade out and play a Zack sequence in Zack's timeline. And then you'll go do the Junon section and the Junon parade and get onto the boat. And when you're on the boat and you beat Genova on the boat, you will go into a Zack sequence. And it will basically work like uh, the uh, Laguna sections from FF8. Where chapters are going to be interstitched with switching to a different character. That's why I think. Joe Bagado Nuts kicked in a sub. In fact, he kicked in 20 subs. Oink, 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 time. Oink. Thank you, Joe. I love you. I will kiss you on the mouth for 20 good subs. Uh, don't take that too seriously. Promises made under the voice filter are not legally binding. Um, Eldalu sub to say, Pat, why? Oh, thank you, Eldalu. Uh, Bassoon Typhoon kicked in five hundred bits. Pat, I've never played FF7, but that looks fucking sick. Where would a good starting point be? Should I get the remake or play the OG? This is maybe the only game... You know when people are like, where do I start? And I say, you should start at the one that matters. Like the one that you're watching and interested. FF7 Remake is under the extremely explicit understanding that you played FF7. I, I have never, ever seen... I actually, I have. I have seen this once before. I remember having a discussion about eight or nine years ago in which someone said, Hey, Pat, you like Ava, right? And I went, yes, I do like Evangelion. Should I, should I just skip the series and watch Rebuild? You know, one and two? Or should I watch the original series too? Because, you know, it's just a remake. And I, and I put my hand on their shoulder and I looked them in the eye, and I was like, you should watch that original series first. And then I held them like this. And they were like, oh, okay. And I don't think they got it, but they, they got it later. Um, you know, I think me telling everyone what the Switch was going to be like years ago, years ago is maybe my best like Hail Mary call. Uh, but my second best for sure was me on the podcast like months before Remake came out, me calling uh, FF7 Remake Final Fantasy 7.77, you can not remake. Um, I'm very happy about that. I'm a genius. Kai9 kicked in five bucks. Thanks, Kai. I'm so happy Roach, aka FF7's Dante to Cloud's Virgil, is back. I hope he gets Mako juiced up to the first class by the time third FF7 remake comes out. Yeah, that makes sense. I, I believe that. Yeah, the train track Ava poster was a good call. I wasn't 100% there, but boy, I was really close. Paige asked me, like, uh, I, I retweeted a meme about a cat that looked like it had an AT field, and Paige made the, tr like, I'm going to call it a grand error in judgment by looking at me and going, Pat, so what is an AT field anyway? And then she was trapped.
Then she was trapped for 15 minutes. Okay, okay, but what is it? Um, uh, I'll give you the short version. Uh, an AT field is the apps. Oh. Ha! Okay, yeah, I'll, I'll be, uh... uh... Guys, I'm gonna explain, uh, the AT field, and then I will go feed the dog. Um... AT field stands for absolute terror field and the absolute terror field is the you know what I'm gonna go big for this so people can send this to their friends hopefully I can get this in under a minute an AT field <clears throat> start of clip now the AT field from Evangelion is known as the absolute terror field the absolute terror field represents the inherent terror and anxiety about forming connections and bonds with other people um, in the show's metaphor itself of the hedgehog's dilemma about people getting so close that they hurt each other, the AT field is the spines on the hedgehog. Uh, one of the reasons why Shinji Ikari is the strongest character in Evangelion is because he is crippled by existential fear and social anxiety and is so traumatized he is afraid, he is terrified of forming bonds with other people. So when he gets into his robot, that feeling and anxiety is made manifest and protects himself from the big scary monster angels. That's why he can kill people with AT fields? Yes. Do they ever cover that in the show? Not explicitly, but they do so implicitly. Why do angels have AT fields? Because they also don't want to be touched. The, a the long and short of it is an AT field is you at a con going, don't touch me. Don't touch me. <laughs> that's it that's all it is all right hey i'll be right back i gotta feed the pooch see you guys in a second and then we will finish thanking people and then play the ff7 ff7 reload yep that's yeah that's what we're gonna play
go. Go.
let's go. Hey, I'm back. Sorry about that, gang. I uh, fed the dog and then he had to go to go pee-pees. And you know what happens sometimes when you take your dog out pee-pees? He just goes into a fucking circle. Over and over and over and over. Just snoofing at the ground. All right. Crown Ox kicked in a uh, uh, sub. Is BC Pizza good? It's all right. It's regular fucking pizza. Fly to Wing sub, thank you. King Regal sub to say rebirth, thank you. Bakasugoi sub, ah, 40 months, thank you. Kai9 kicked in five bucks. Wow, FF16, turns out you can have a lot of drama and tension while also having mini games. Uh, yeah, I think, FF, I genuinely feel that Final Fantasy 16's largest flaw more than anything else is its absolute refusal to include levity i think that's weird huge manatee kicked in five bucks i can't wait for dragon's dogma 2 and killing that plague dragon or as i call it plague on oh you mean the ur dragon oh no you mean that one with the tumors yeah mia bites up thanks mia hope you're doing well that goddamn state of play revealed so much also you want to know a secret i've already played rebirth well some of it mia you can't tell people that. You are assuredly under embargo. Well, no, you wouldn't break embargo. I think it's really funny. I think it's really, 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 really funny that Max walked away from the, 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 the fucking stream in the middle of the show and Gene's in this chat going, oh my god, god damn it, god damn it, motherfucker. And it's like... Like, in order to get a review out, I'm sure people have it. And to see people that I assume have it getting like, whoa, what the fuck? How could you show this? In, is hilarious, which to me says, what are they hiding? Are they hiding the part where you can kiss Barrett and go, nom, 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 nom. I think they are. Yes, sorrow, man. Sorry, yes, Saros, man. Kicked in two subs. Thanks, man. Shark and Stereo sub. Like 15 years ago, them doing something like this with FF7 would have been a joke. Now it's more real than ever. It's never been more real. Gene in the chat says, what are they hiding indeed? I do not know. You know what's really important? Is that we're going to get a whole new generation of, of artists that are absolutely obsessed with drawing sexy versions of these sexy characters in sexy outfits. <sighs> Toys for Us says, really? Yeah. I can't believe we saw Cisne, Mia. Cisne seemed like banished to the fucking like side story dimension. Dizik, 45 subbed. Final Fantasy 7, like a dragon, looks great. How long until Sony gets greedy from their new console monopoly since Nintendo doesn't compete on the same level as Microsoft? About 10 minutes. They're start they're 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 on their bullshit right now. They're doing something behind the scenes. 
Big coffee kicked in Favre to bits. I'm torn. On the one hand, this is super amazing and cool, but on the other hand, I really, really hate that this is a weird requel thing, and I still can't get excited. It's everything I ever wanted, but this one singular thing spoils the whole experience for me. On the other hand, I'm super excited to watch your LP, Craigasm. Big coffee. I both completely understand exactly how you feel, but also the thing that you want is way more boring than what this is. Um, a, 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 the, the legacy of FF seven and its narrative and its twists and turns is so like industry defining and has been so well known for so long even by people who've never even seen the game, that following it one-to-one -one exactly would just be trading on nostalgia, no matter how exciting. Now we get to trade on nostalgia and have that little twinge of excitement for, <gasps> what's going to happen? Andy Filter sub. Thanks, Andy Filter. Awkward Buffalo sub. Another fantastic month. Sending good vibes and wishing you all the best. I appreciate all y'all do. Thank you. And Sonic A draws and a Blue Wizard subscribed. All right. Well, that has definitely had time to percolate and download. Shall I give you this pair? I don't know, Cookie Cut. Man, I think that's still really funny. Probably going to watch Advent Children with Paige tonight because she made the mistake of saying, you know, I've never seen Advent Children. That's her mistake. <laughs> no, no, not Advent Children complete. Just regular Advent Children. You gotta watch the dub? Do I? With Dilly Dally Shilly Shally? Dilly Dally Shilly Shally. Oh. Oh, it's great. I love it. All right. You forgot about that? Bro. Bro, I, you can never forget. Never, ever. You know what's really fun? Is PlayStation games have wildly varying audio, so every single time I play a different one, I have to change the fucking levels on the Aver Media every single time. <sighs> so the demo carries over data. So the demo is probably going to carry over the data of did you play the demo? What's the dilly dally line in the original? It's like. Suru suru or something. It's it's some wordplay thing that doesn't translate even a little. Why is there a continue button? Wait, it will allow you to skip Nibelheim if you have demo completion? I didn't, I didn't think that, um, oh, man, I didn't think that I was going to be doing part one, but I'm not, I'm going to replay it. I'm going to replay it. You know what, guys? I'm going to click this button. When there is so much to tell, <laughs> where should I even start? With all that we saw, what we heard, what we felt, this planet of ours, destiny, 
Our part ends. This is the ending. Best to start at the beginning, perhaps. This is the ending. Midgar, the city of Mako, ruled by the Shinra Electric Power Company, who drained the planet of its very essence, the life stream, and processed it. For I know it's the opening of the last Mako. game, but I never put it together that it was also the ending. Our world was dying, and so few could hear her cries for mercy. Those who could rose up in her defense. I'm pretty sure I did. I'm sorry. It's been a bit. Okay. The Shinra Rebels, Avalanche. The only thing I remember about FF7 Remake is Among that them, everyone was just so darn strength, attractive. An ex-soldier okay. hired by the Resistance to destroy Reactor 1. By the way, how's the audio for y'all? It's the aftermath of the attack. Game audio Cloud good. met a flower seller named Aerith. She offered him a yellow blossom. One said to symbolize reunion. And thus was destiny set in motion. With Reactor 1 gone, Avalanche set their sights on Mako Reactor They even 5. made President Shinra Unfortunately, hot. they were playing right into Shinra's hands. The company was able to draw the wool over the people's eyes. Did they? They and did. in the end, destroyed Sector 7, killing thousands and laying the blame at Avalanche's feet. Though dear friends were lost, Avalanche had no time to grieve. Aerith had struck a deal with Shinra, who took her into custody. With her capture, Shinra's obsession was within reach. The fabled promised land. For Aerith was the last of the Setra, the ancient stewards of the planet. And only she could guide them to paradise. To save her, the team infiltrated the Shinra building, the company's beating heart. Oh, man. It was here that I, another prisoner, joined their story and assisted them in freeing Aerith. Yet during our flight, we came face to face with That's a man the thought dead. Ancient city theme. The vaunted war hero, Sephiroth. Before he could be stopped. Cloud's foe fled with the corpse of Genova, the cataclysm from the stars, and the catalyst of our plight. I really hope they play further into the fact that Genova is like a fucking abominable nightmare alien. Yet Sephiroth once again intervened. Suddenly, deafening screams rent the air. Whispers, the arbiters of fate, descended upon the city. Before their imposing wall, Aerith warned us. This was destiny's crossroads. Every moment, every action, every step taken, had all been as the whispers willed it. To fight them was to break free. On the other side of fate, Sephiroth waited, the whispers undulating within him. Cloud brought his blade down upon his rival, sundering destiny. But the fight won, and the shackles of destiny broken. We stood before the unknown, a world of boundless freedom. I it like was there, beyond where fate could follow, that a new journey began. I really like that um, the way that it feels and plays out is like, guys, we defeated fate. Yeah, and I'm sitting here going like, 
you know, aside from a couple missteps, it actually worked out pretty well in the end the last time. Um, definitely a possibility that you could do a way worse job than you did. But they don't know that. <sighs> Didn't work out so- Ooh, we're in it! Oh, so yeah. This is the poor Shinra guys. I'm waiting, Cloud. I think I have to uh, turn it down, I think. All right, then. Seeing as we've got the time, want to tell the rest of us about you and your buddy Sephiroth? Sure. If Tifa doesn't mind. Me? Yeah, no problem. It's cool. It all started five years ago. I was 16 at the time. There was hardly any work for soldiers back then. What little there was. It was boring as hell. My heart wasn't in it. Then, out of nowhere, the job of a lifetime came up. A mission with Sephiroth. <laughs> I couldn't believe my luck. This does feel like RE2 Remake. By the way, I hope the audio is good now. It was pretty really loud before. Down, huh? Hey man. There he is! Feeling any better? Oh my god, he's even got the blonde hair! Sure don't look it. Wish I could help, but never been motion sick. Sorry, man. Ready to do this? Yeah, you bet. He's even moving like Zack. Oh, wow. <laughs> hey, rein it in. Sorry. No can do. Kids. This is great, because he Say, is just like to be briefed on the mission at some wildly inconsistent with the cloud we hung out with. Another one of those Turks gigs, you can let me off right I wonder here. why. Really? Finally make first, and what do they do? Call a ceasefire with Wutai, stealing my shot at glory. I didn't join Soldier to be an errand boy. I joined up so I could be a hero, like you. A hero. Well, our mission is to survey a rundown reactor. Another one of those Turks gigs. Job's a job, I guess. Where is it? Nibelheim. Nibelheim? That's where I grew up. Is it? That's some fiends in our twelve. Let's go. Gross. You take one, I'll take the other. Okay. Oh, well, okay, so he did it in a cutscene, but I have to do it in gameplay. I got it.
Wow, that was really easy. The framing of Cloud different league from the rest of us. With Cloud behind Cloud is really great. They had the same expression. Nibelheim. That's where they built the first reactor. Right? Yeah. It all started in the fall. Something was wrong with the reactor, and the whole village was up in arms. Talk of strange new monsters on the mountain only made things worse. People were scared, desperate. The villagers tried to take care of the monsters themselves, but it was no good. Ended up calling Shinra. So the company sent help. Best they had. Yeah, I'm I'm really looking forward to Tifa's interjections as to how Cloud's story doesn't make any fucking sense. Home sweet home, right? Tell me, how does it feel? I have no home. Oh my so god, he's know. just turned like a few inches he's the wrong way. Parents, though, right? A mother named Genova. She died shortly after I was born. My father. Whoa there! Genova? Like from the Shinra building? Yeah. Don't worry. I'm getting to that. <laughs> <laughs> Why am I talking about this? Come on. Let's go. Hope I didn't keep you waiting. I'm Xander, the mayor here. Hey, Tifa's dad. I wanted to greet you myself, to uh, welcome you to our humble little town. Please, if you'll follow me. Consider yourself off duty till sundown. Oh, that dude. Oh, man. Just always keeping actual cloud in frame on every single fucking dialogue reaction shot. Press try, uh, the, the button to main menu. You can review party stats, inspect inventory, do equipment. Press circle to roll. The action cloud performs will change depending on environment. Ah. You know, uh, I've been thinking about joining the military for some time now. If you need help, just say the word. Ah. Let's take a look. Oh! Oh, it's like this! Press square and you get a photo mode. Smart. 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 Ah, oh, it's locked. Of course it's locked. That's a lot more buttons. Hey, man. So, any friends here you want to see? Maybe a girlfriend? Huh. <laughs> Speaking of which, I'll bet you're dying to hear about mine. Am I right? So, any friends here you want to see? Okay. Maybe a girlfriend? He's voiced by Zach. That's... that's Zack. He's just physically inverting the positions. 
That's... That's so good! That's so good! Backwater is an understatement. Don't blame you for getting the hell out of here. They got anything worth eating? That's... Oh, oh that's so good. Do you think I could maybe come with you to Midgar? That's... I gotta get out of this one chocobo town. Oh, it's so good. Oh, it's so good! Ooh, jumpy! Thank you for letting me know. It is strange the Tifa's dad didn't acknowledge Cloud. You're right. We're so glad you're here. Thank you. Whoa, can you show us this magic? Wow, this. Oh man, get ready for the best soundtrack awesome. what a ever. But are we gonna hear something as good as do recompense? Yes. We probably will. That wasn't her dad? Oh, but he had a cowboy hat on. Everyone knows hats are genetic. Oh, what? Oh! Oh boy. Oh, it's gonna be bad. Oh no! You're gonna save Nibelheim, right? Absolutely, kids. Nibelheim's gonna be just fine. <laughs> She's trying to help me round up food for dinner. But at this rate, we're gonna whip you up the best meals you've ever had. You'll see. Oh man, this fucking oh oh oh! I'm having so many body sensations. Have you gone to see your mother yet? I have not gone to see my mom yet. I might like my proprioception is going off. Oh, the, the militia. Hey, militia. Beams are out. I already feel safe now that soldiers are here. To think I get to see Sephiroth in my own eyes. Oh, man. I'm not rushing this shit. I gotta say, the, it actually feels really smooth. Very smooth. Midgar wishes its water tasted as fresh as ours. What do we got? Ah, some potions. Mm -hmm. You haven't heard that that word in years? What? Proprioception? The Mako pipeline's a lifesaver. I'd never be able to get all this done without it. Where is the map? Oh, do I not have a, a full map? I just have a, a little baby map. Proprioception is the feeling of almost touch. As well as, um... Like, you know when, you know when somebody runs their hand over your skin, but they're not touching you? And you can feel it? That's proprioception. Everyone keeps their eyes out for fiends in the underworld. It's such bad? I don't have it yet. Proprioception is a body sensation that is difficult to, um, to emulate. Because it's not one of your five primary senses. We've got sandwiches stuffed with Levi's famous simmered pork. Soldier, good to see you. How about a taste of home before you go? I would love to eat that cool ass sandwich. Wait a minute. Is that cloud? 
silly boy. You should have let us know you'd be paying us a visit. Reminds me of home. Eat up, Cloud. You still got room to grow, you know. You remember these pork sandwiches, don't you? They're exactly like the ones more Mrs. pork Dyer sandwiches. I'm sure you must have taken them as snacks on a play date before. Yeah, he's Wait, eating the wrapper. Did you go on any play dates? Claudia must be so proud of what a fine young man you've become. Take care of yourself. You'll be spending the night at home, won't you? Maybe I'll pay your mother a visit. No, I shouldn't have posed. You two must have a lot of catching up to do. You do will not have room for supper tonight. You don't want to keep your mother waiting, do you? You don't want to keep okay. your mother waiting, do you? So I just I just fucking shorked out a bunch of sandwiches. Don't make any trouble for Sephiroth. Sephiroth's in there right now. Yeah. I kill for a shot of him. But I should probably wait till later, huh? Oh my god. I'm eager to talk to him too. This is the guy. Don't make any trouble for This is the photo. This is the photo that the Tifa is going to describe Cloud not being in. Please just let it be a quiet day. Hold on a second. Is that It sure is, bitch. Oh, hello there, Cloud. When did you get back in town? Hey, don't talk to me, hussy. Don't make any trouble for Sephiroth. Okay. I'm eager to talk to him, too. But so I need to see where's that little Cloud's drive. Why, I almost didn't recognize you in that uniform of yours. You've grown so much since the last time we saw you. Oh, did you come looking for Tifa? <laughs> if you did, I'm sorry to tell you that she's not home at the moment. The least you could do was say hello to us. As if we're strangers. There's no need to be so standoffish. The reason they can't recognize him in the uniform is because he's wearing a helmet. Thank you. Oh, I didn't realize the survey team was here. Thanks for coming. We really can't handle this ourselves. You worked out with everyone? Just for a bit. Could you keep up? What? What? Let's all take a short break. If you're feeling a bit tense, use this time to stretch. All right, everybody, gather round. It's time we to zanga time. Weak mind. Ready to get started? Let's zanga. Takes me back. Okay. Put your fingertips together and lift your hands to the sky. Am I? Arms tight to the ears and spread those uh. hands. Uh. Keep your arms straight. Feel the stretch all the way to your fingertips. I'm not doing it right. I'm screwing it up. Good, good. Uh, uh, did I break it? Oh! I don't get it. Ever since we heard a survey team was coming, we've been working our fingers to the bone. Cats! Pat stretching is not just asking for uppies. I'd like to see. No, I'm no. I don't need uppies. I don't need uppies. Oh, man. 
All right. Up we go. Press the map button to map. So how did it feel being back up there? I don't know. Nostalgic, I guess. After two years away and all that. This is. Wait, Cloud, could you see into my fucking bedroom window from the water tower? <laughs> what did Tifa say? She asked him how he felt going up there. Was it nostalgic? And he said, yeah, because I hadn't been home in two years. And she goes, uh-huh. The Nidhogg Hotel. Cute. Huh? You went to my place? Yeah. I figured you might be there. Is that Tifa as a kid? Aww. Remember my cat? Her name was Fluffy, I think. Yeah. She was always disappearing, and that day was no different. Huh. Fluffy the cat. This is the part I don't get. Did Zack walk in there? Did Soldier Cloud do it? And is just adding it to his Zack exception. Uh, there's a lot of internal inconsistencies. Basically, when they're in the same scene, um, when they're in the same scene, people who are talking to Cloud look like they're talking to Zack, but they're not. Zack is acting as he is. Um, but like, you know, Cloud did you go went in her into house. My room? I did. And he did try and steal her underwear. You went through my stuff? Yeah. I know I shouldn't have. Cloud! You asshole! You beat off in my bed? What? What? Oh, Moogle. Okay, this is an incredibly strange thing to point out, guys. But when Tifa is playing the piano in the modern day Nibelheim, that poster is not for dolphins. That poster is for Ruby Weapon, actually. Inspect pianos you encounter to start tickling the ivories and perform pieces. Did you actually play it? Went to town on it. Went nuts. <sighs> I'm playing quality mode. Whoa. Whoa. 
What? Oh, sticks, just the sticks. Got it. Oh, okay. I can do this. Oh, this is hard. Oh, fuck. Okay, they're supposed to be simultaneous. Got it. Chords. There it is. Okay, that's how you do it. This version of the theme's incredible! Holy shit! <laughs> okay, maybe not my version. It's hard. Hey. Jesus, people are going to fucking automate this thing on PC. You know they're gonna do it. Wow. Where'd you learn to do that? Hey, you gotta play for us sometime. Well, shit. You're a merc of many talents. They're like, you looked at my underwear? What the fuck? And then I'm like, but I played the piano real good. And she's like, well. Okay then. See, Cloud, this is the part where you'd be like, do you have any ivories I could tickle? And they'd be like, Cloud, what the fuck? So where did he learn to play piano? My head cannon, honestly, genuinely is that Zack knew how to play piano and uh, Cloud absorbed those memories in the tube. Everyone, our village is truth. We in your debt. Alternatively, he's completely full of shit. The survey team is the coolest. That's also possible. So, you, so the fact that he made it up is one thing. But because this is going to be a gameplay thing we can do later, he probably actually can play it. What do you think of our village? Pretty nice, right? Who's that? 
city folk are so sophisticated. Can only imagine what their lives Fucking Zangan! Hmm. A soldier. Oh yeah! Richard Sangan. A humble traveler of the world. And teacher of martial arts to the That's youth. the right voice actor to have picked! That's the right guy! <laughs> well done, but lacking mass. You need to bulk up. Who asked you? You could learn a lot from me. Pass. Don't be shy. I have many pupils your age. At last count, 128. In fact, one of them's from this very village. Really? Perhaps you know her. Tifa. What? Sure. A real talent, that one. She'll go far. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, right? <laughs> Got anything to say for yourself? <laughs> I didn't know. <laughs> Bro, bro, bro. I'd be interested to see how one of Shinra's finest fights. Should you need my help, just say the word. You know what? I've been working on some new techniques. I'd be interested you to know see what would how be one of nice? Shinra's finest fights. If Zangan got his moment against Sephiroth. Like, he has to lose, but in the original, he never got his... his moment, you know? Uh, hello there. All our rooms are reserved for you, Shinra boy, so take your pick. You'll find them just up. Huh? No. Cloud? My, my. Get a load of you. And you've only been away a couple of years. Yeah, see, this, this interaction doesn't make sense if he's not wearing a helmet. Traveling with the Sephiroth now? Okay, Mr. Big Shot. <sighs> this is great. This is great. Isn't this progress? I think so. But I did everything else I think I could do. Oh. I guess I have to go see Mom. My mistake. I did forget my mom. You know, you should you should date an older girl. City folk are so sophisticated. You know, who take care of you. Goodness. Is that because you don't know what you're doing with your life, Cloud. Then I stop on my mops. Not that it matters. Sure it does. I know I want to hear what happened. Me too. Yeah. Go on. Yeah, tell me, tell me how you hung out with your mom, Cloud. In a sequence that definitely happened. My dad died when I was a kid. So after I left for Midgar, she was on her own. It was the first time we'd seen each other in two years. First time. And last. Hmm? I'll be right there. Oh, wow. Cloud, is that you? Hey. Welcome home. Come in. Let me get a good look at you. My, my. So that's what they've got you wearing, huh? 
You soldiers sure do clean up nice. I've never been so proud. Huh. The man you've become? Women must be hounding you day and night. Not really. You know, there's all kinds of temptations in the big city. I'd feel a lot better if I knew you'd found a good girl. One who'd make sure you didn't get into trouble. I can take care of myself. So... An older, more mature girl that could keep you on the straight and narrow. And tell you when you're being a silly goose. A silly goose. That's the perfect type for you, I'd say. They are feeding you properly, aren't they? Oh, Cloud. But you know, Cloud. Wouldn't you agree, Cloud? You're my son. Of course, I'll always be... Okay, that's enough. Wait a second. You two were neighbors? We yeah. Were, but it's not like we hung out that much. We had our reasons. <laughs> our reasons, huh? But most of them had to do with you. So, uh, there's a lot that that was incredibly well done. So it's pretty clear, obviously, to most of you that uh, Cloud was deleting every part of that conversation in which she said she loved him and was proud of him, even though he never managed to join Soldier. But I think what's probably the best part of that flashback is what triggers the disassociation is when she touches his arm. Because she wouldn't have touched his bare arm. She would have touched the arm of his uniform. And that, in, that like, somatic inconsistency is what starts to break the memory apart. Come on, that's enough! Taking a breeze! Go back to your homes! Ah, Shinra's here, I see. Thank you for coming. Do they what ever give Shinra? the real flashback? Yes, they do. Oh, but the what? real flashback would not occur you, within the context of this game's scope. Because uh, that happens after falling into the live stream in North Cave. What about when the martial arts guy was groping his arm? When the martial arts guy was groping his arm, he wasn't talking about his uniform. Also, that could have been Zack. wasn't himself hey dude what's up what you looking at feeling emo thinking about my chemical romance this landscape huh i could swear i've seen it before that's weird you okay you're not from here big day tomorrow we'll be leaving bright and early you should get some rest all right, we'll do. Night. I tried, but I couldn't get to sleep that night. Was too excited, too nervous. was pretty much the same for me. Why? <laughs> yeah, I was surprised too. Oh my god, the directing 
on this flashback. You know what happened the last time she went up there. Is that so incredible. She's old enough to make her own decisions now. <laughs> Oh, you're right. That's not Tifa's dad. That's Tifa's dad. We leave once our guide arrives. Yes, sir. Uh, Brian! Sephiroth, sir. Uh, wow, Tifa's dad is hot! I take you up the mountain. My daughter is not Dad! Tifa. You can still back out. You don't have to do this. I'm going, and that's that. There'll be two soldiers with me. I'll be fine. Pumpkin! Good morning, sir. I'll be your guide for the day. Tifa? You're our guide? I sure am. You can ask anyone around here. I'm the best there is. You could get hurt. Not if you remember to do your job, she won't. Come on. Why is she a cowboy? Why do you think? For a posterity, sir? Not today. No, come on, man. Talk to him. Come on, Sephiroth. It mean a lot to us. Take the photo. It's just one photo. Come on. Where's the harm in that? Yeah, she doesn't even call him by his name. She doesn't even say long time no see. It's almost like she doesn't know Cloud at all. Thanks. Weird. Say cheese. Sounds like you were having a good time. One more. Yeah, I guess we were Later. for a while. The reactor was halfway up Mount Nebel. I was looking forward to breathing that crisp, clean mountain air again. So somebody, um, uh, somebody earlier said uh, there was big coffee. Big coffee said that they hate the that it's a, a rebuild kind of thing. And I'm just sitting here, and I'm like, Tifa's portrayal in this scene gets to be obvious because she knows, and we know that she knows. And the devs know that we know that she knows. So. They can just. They just fuck with it. Hit R2 to run. Hit square to do weapon. Weapon. Tifa, I want to go to the... No, I want to go to the mansion! No, I want... No! Oh, oh, man! Oh, they're doing the credit thing? already know this, but our reactor's the first of its kind. It really put Mount Nebel on the map. I've seen a few reactors in my time, but none with such a breathtaking view. Who could tire of it? Everyone, eventually. Well, that's crazy how Man, Tifa's I exclusively talking to Sephiroth like instead of her old pal. Trips. I think you mean business trips, which are no fun at all. Though you do learn stuff on them. That's so cool. Oh, wow. This was a pan in the original. It was a pre-rendered pan shot. But now it's just here. D 
Does Cloud come within real come with them in reality? Absolutely. He's right there. We're looking at him right now. There's it's fun because one of the one of the 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 um one of the grunts has a very deep voice that sounds nothing like Cloud or Zack. Think Square could do the same for Chrono Trigger? No. Chrono Trigger doesn't have the same legacy. Everything okay? Not going too fast for you, am I? Of course not. We're just trying to pace ourselves, is all. But I thought you guys were in a hurry. Even so, you'll burn yourself out running like that. I'm not even close to burned out. Not with all the training I've had. <laughs> Guess you really are the best there is. Huh. The the constant flip flopping of what character I'm actually playing as in his perception is fascinating. Like line by line is either not spoken out loud or spoken out loud by Zack instead. You know, I'm really impressed with how this uh, looks in performance mode. Like, the image quality is a little down, but for streaming purposes, you guys won't even be able to tell. Uh, but it, it is running like it should. Seen those near the village, and they're not nice. What do you think? I think I got this. Then they're all yours. Copy that. Oh, this is very cloud behavior. Press square to attack with the sword. Holding button will allow you to follow up with the sweeping so Wait, really? Press after dodging to do ranged attack. Or button... Hold button... Really? You're done. Ooh. Also, Spacebird points awesome. out these are the wrong hey, moves. If this is how it's going to be, there doesn't seem much point in me fighting. I guess not. You leave it all to me, huh? Don't mind if I do. These these are not this is not Cloud's moveset. And the, and it's extra good now because you're like, oh, it's because it's a sequel. Initiating. They'll grow alerted. Once it fills up, hit square before it fills to get the jump. If you land a first strike, your ATB will start bigger. Got it. X to open ATP stuff. Got it. Oh! Let's finish this. You're done. Well. That's that. Oh! Oh, there's gonna- I'm gonna need to learn buttons. How's the game feel? Excellent. better than that, can't you? How weird. Why didn't she use his name? Just you watch. 
Press R1 to block and circle to move. Block and attack will reduce the damage and fill your thing. Block with perfect timing. Oh no. What's the, uh, here it is. Say, that one felt pretty good. This plays better than 16 does. It, it, it feels better than 16 does. Press to lock. Got it. Take it away. You're done. Holy shit. Brace yourself. Gotcha. Yeah, this feels great. This feels great. This feels great. This. Kaima1020 says, does it feel like Kingdom Hearts 2 with its snappiness? No. But it's pretty close. <laughs> it's its own thing, but it's uh, <gasps> Cloud, you saved Tifa. Well done, Trevor. Thank you. the rest. Yeah, that while well, they fix the air shit. Wait, whoa, 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 why, why? What, what the fuck? Why? It was because I dodged? Shall we pick up the pace? Not unless we absolutely have to. Our guide might not be so lucky next time. Then, how about I go on ahead and clear the way for you guys? I'll be careful. <laughs> You'd better. Cool. See you at the reactor. Materia happen. You know what? Sure. Thank you. Okay. I will select Cloud, thank you. I'd like to set a Materia, thank you. Get any slot, okay, great. Assess, wonderful. Equipping Materia is great. Thank you. Terry sent you to get AP, got it. Hey guys, what's up? I need to review. Uh, I need to review the general. Wow, they, they there's just the fucking de the tutorial from the full game in here. Um, 
fighting is cloud. Here we go. Holding. Okay, so there's a slat. The sweep, which pulls in, is hold. Press the button to launch ranged or hold to do air. So, okay. Punisher mode. But does more stronger. In addition, he'll counter strike every time he guards. Can't guard against ranged or magic. And when you evade, you'll go back to operator mode. Okay. Let's fucking go. Man, this game's got the juice. It's got the juice. Hell yeah, I got first strike. Now we're talking. Oh, I just read this. So can you Oh it's it is it is automatic Well that's that You take a tiny little baby hit and you just do big old counter Hey guys. Bring it on. It's on now. Oh my god, that was a perfect dodge. Now, you're done. Bye. <laughs> Let's finish this. See? Gotta say, that one felt pretty good. <sighs> well, they really, uh... They really... They really took it to heart, people complaining about that Sector 7 fight, didn't they? <laughs> Where you're fighting those guys in the air. So the main difference between the way this feels in Kingdom Hearts is that there's a lot of hit stop. It feels good. But uh, like Kingdom Hearts is incredibly it's it, there's no hit stop ever. You know. Yeah, somebody points out this entire section is completely fake. Like, no nothing that is happening right now happened. Whoa! Whoa! What?! Okay. It's F. Tifa's room, yeah. He broke in. Tifa, I nutted on every single item in your room. I'm not even joking. Wind. Huh, I wonder, I wonder something. Combat settings. So there's an auto-equip. Yeah, assess. What is synergy skill? Oh, that's not for me. Is what it's not. Auto-equip off or auto-equip on? Oh, yeah, okay. Okay. That bridge is out. It's a. Seen the Temple of the Ancients in the inventory? 
No, he's in the Sphere universe. Wait, that is totally the Temple of the Ancients. It's absolutely the Temple of the Ancients. Holy shit! Yeah, the fucking astrological symbols on the back. In black. Because Meteor is a cosmic spell. It's a dead end. Rockslide took out the bridge a while ago. Come on back, okay? Okay. Aha, I was right. Hey girl. Hey, you want to I got you want to squeeze in? Peach Saliva. Hello, welcome to the show. Uh anybody know how long the demo is? It appears to be the entirety of the Nibelheim section. This way. Got to make People are page hey, people are saying that like if you if you save your game, you'll be able to skip this part. Otherwise, you'd have let us straight off a cliff. This is why I said today's a pizza day, because there's no way for me to know how long I'm going to be streaming. That being said, when the full game comes out, guys, I'm going to redo this section. Okay? I don't think... I don't think it's very smart for me to, to punish people showing up to my stream by skipping ahead. You know? It's so dark. Oh, well then. You know, I just realized... I just realized... That's two games in a row that the very first thing we do is raid a Mako reactor. Level boost. Good. I'm putting that on cure, man. I gotta say, dude, having purchase game on the screen every time you go to the fucking menu, fucking mwah. Fucking impeccable. Very smart. In fact, come to think of it, if we're gonna play Kingdom Hearts, I have some changes to make. Do you think Tifa kept her, her, her cowboy outfit? Do you think you'll be able to make Tifa wear the cowboy outfit? Just asking. For... Paige? Paige. Listen. You know... Most people don't have their wife literally looking over their shoulder when they're like... <laughs> that girl's boobs. <laughs> <laughs> like... There it is. There we go. Oh, and it auto-equips the same way? Oh, that's great. <sighs> you know what? 
I'm actually gonna stop the stream for a second. Monkeyweed points out the Tifa is in fact 16 years old in this se se sequence, ignoring the fact that I said very intentionally, do you think she kept the costume in hidden parentheses as an adult? It is the it is it is the it is the most frustrating thing ever because everyone is so fucking wired to be on the fucking lookout for pedophiles like every time somebody argues about Ray versus Oscar some fucking freak comes and says you know the fucking 14 like I was 8 when I watched that no I wasn't 8 I was 11 but whatever <laughs> I was 11 when I watched that show they were too old for me back then. Jesus. God, it's so fucking frustrating. Everyone just is ready to creep on you. Whoa. How'd I turn out? Bad. Don't let your kids watch Evangelion. That thing's cool. Why why did I go into tactical mode? What happened? Oh, I hit R2. Bitch. Whoa, fuck! I, I got scared, so I fucked it up. Okay. The frontal melee is bad, and they're weak to fire, huh? Great. There we go. <sighs> this just feels so damn good. Feels good. Anyway, I'm sorry to take the addendum, but it's just so annoying. Hey Paige, do we have a cowboy hat asking for a friend? You can hit select or pad to reassess for free. Oh, cool. The friend is my penis. Hey. The reactor may have been around for a while. There's still pockets of macro gas all over the I'm God damn it! I'm not going to ask for a hat and uppies. Stop it. Don't want to get Mako. You know what I'm looking at? I'm looking at a diegetic reason for Cloud to have green eyes.
because he got Mako poisoning. In the original, it was just assumed they juiced him in the tube. But now they can be like, oh, we juiced him in a tube. Because he had the Mako poisoning. Wouldn't Tifa have them too? No, because Tifa paid attention to not breathing in the dust. Her little hat, she put her little hat in front of her face and said, Oh, I'm not, I'm not breathing the dust. I'm smart because I have my little hat. Damn it, the cable. Remember when Zack pushed that vacuum around? You guys remember when Zack did that? Sephiroth. Hey man, you wanna get you want Why is the music so fucked? Turn off low latency mode on the twitch.tv. Foley work is incredible. Just thinking about crossing that thing. Then let me go first. Hey, I'm the guide here. Damn, bitch. Well, I hope we don't fall. That'd be embarrassing. Sephiroth, do something cool. What are you... oh. That was pretty cool. There's Cloud. The one at the top going... That's interesting, isn't it? He saved Tifa's life. Well, that's going to come back on.
Well, it's gonna be a little bit clearer who's who now. He's in fate's hands now. Do you know the way? Yeah. Now that we only have one character Follow to worry about. Get us back to the village. We're not going to the village. Can you get us to the reactor? Sorry, I... I don't think I can. I see. Well, we certainly can't send you back alone. You'll be safer with us. Okay. I'll be joining you up front this time. What? For your performance review. You kidding me? Good luck. This is a weird prompt. <laughs> Approach a scalable wall. All right, let's uh, let's take a look. Oh my god. What do you have on, dude? Raise, maxed out healing, maxed out wind, magnify, maxed fire, maxed lightning, magnify, maxed ice, magnify. Okay. What do you have? You have Zanshin and Hell's Gate. And we have Dual Blade Dance. I wonder. Oh, I can't. Uh... I can! This will help you rest. HP up. All right, Cloud. Nah, don't need it. Well, let's take a let's take a little sit. You've never seen Pat so happy? Oh, just wait till we get to Dragon's Dorgma. Off you go. All right. Switching to a different character can be cool as fuck. Hit the D-pad to switch characters. Use L2 or R2 to do commands to allies. Slash or hold to unleash range. Landing a certain number of attacks that allow you to perform branching finishers like Pierce or Sword Dance. Hit R1 to do Retaliation Stance. Oh! Oh, oh fuck! It's going too fast! Sephiroth is the current party leader, meaning you'll control him at the start. He's so fast, dude. He's... <sighs> More Mako gas ahead. There's no way around it either. Just have to go through. Darn. Let's not waste any time. Mako this thick is dangerous. Oh, that's interesting. Let's hurry. Seth doesn't have uh, aerial combo abilities like Zach. Uh, sorry, Cloud does.
empowerment, huh? Bravery? Huh. Oh, I went the wrong way. Haha. <laughs> that's where I came from. And apparently that's where I should have gone. This is where Sephiroth explains materia to us. A Mako spring. It's beautiful. <sighs> yeah, but if we keep using Mako to power our homes, springs like this will disappear, right? What are you talking about? Who told you that? My dad. And the mayor, if you must know. Except the planet's huge. Mako will never run out, right? Zack, known climate change denier. Naturally formed materia. And look at the size of it. Astounding. For the Mako energy to condense into something like this, it must have taken an eternity. I've always wondered, how does materia let you cast spells exactly? <laughs> how did you ever- It is insane that Zack does not know that, right? Like, that's like legitimately to incredible. The knowledge of the ancients is sealed within each orb. That knowledge not only connects us to the planet, it allows us to tap into It's like power. him asking how a gun how shoots bullets. Magic. Or so they say. Really? Magic sure is weird. <laughs> <laughs> I know someone who'd be livid to hear you call it weird. Or magic for that matter. I can just imagine what he'd say. It's an affront to science. Who? Hojo. Hojo, from research and development. His predecessor was a great man, but him... Not exactly. He is anything but. <laughs> we should press on. Yeah, Gast was a cool guy. He made a new ancient the regular way. With his wiener. Pat, do I know how a gun shoots bullets? Yeah, you do. You, um, there's a little. There's, um, uh, you, um, the, um, the bullet. The, it, bull, the bullet go in the chamber, and then there's a little hammer. You pull the trigger, and a little hammer hit it. And then the bullet goes, ah, and it run out. Oh my god, he's, he's like uncontrollably fast. Very confused. Oh, you keep that. Oh, I see. Why is it not go? Stand back. Huh. Void shatter and counter fire. Get him! Steady. 
I feel like I'm doing something wrong here. Hold the button. Hold the button. Show them what we can do. There we go. Okay. Come on. Good. Steady. Okay. Come on. Get him. Oh, that lasts a while. Show what we can do. You know what I'm realizing, by the way? Uh, your synergy skills don't go away if uh, if you miss them. Like, it doesn't use your ATV. Get him. No, it has to be a ranged attack. It's all I you. see. I see. You know what? You know what's really funny? You know what's really funny? Cloud's more fun to play. Do I mean Zach? I meant... I don't know what I meant. Oh my god. You see that? That was scary. You're doing it too fast. You're doing it too fast. I'm trying to have a good time. And you're getting in there. You're getting in there too hard. Uh, did fucking Sephiroth just put Tifa up his ass? It's really weird how this section still has me getting a bunch of materia. It makes me wonder if it's gonna carry over into the, the, you know, the real gameplay. Because this is all, like, multiple years ago. This is two years ago. You know? Ooh, this looks like a big spot. 
Is that a zoo? It is! Filling the stagger. Inflict enough damage, and they'll get all staggered. Once they're staggered, they can't do nothing. It's on now. <sighs> Wind, huh? Got it. There they go. Striking staggered foes with triangle abilities give you more ATB. Let's get it. Show them what we can do. Oh, tornado, huh? Okay. Braver's incredible. Yeah, I'm so glad you have real iframes now, because holy shit, that thing in the remake one was not good. That roll was fake. Precision defense materia. Oh, that's great, actually. That's legit great. Better perfect guard. Let's finish this. Jesus. That one felt pretty good. That's so mean. Those guys were just like tiny little bugs. What are the tiny little bugs gonna do to us, man? Nothing. They're gonna do nothing. Auto cast. Interesting. <laughs> Damn it. Oh, it could just be demo materia. Yeah, you might be right.
Do you think after the trilogy's done, Square Enix will pull a Naughty Dog and keep re-releasing the three games? Trilogy first, then a remaster? No. I think uh, for PlayStation 6, there will absolutely be a game called Final Fantasy 7. And it'll have a, a new subtitle. It'll probably be called Reunion. Right? And it'll include all three. And it'll have, you know, it'll be cleaned up and better frame rate, blah, blah, blah. And then everyone will be like, this is the best value for a video game that's ever existed. And it'll fucking take 380 million gigabytes of, sh of shit room. And you'll be like... Cable's not long enough. Oh, we're gonna use this mini game of launch, aren't we? Come on, Zach. Push that shit. I still can't believe they used the Reunion subtitle on Crisis Core. I genuinely can't believe it. I was absolutely certain that Reunion was gonna be the fucking third game's name. Three is Regenesis? Oh, yo, you. Oh, yo, oh, you. No, oh, you. Huh, interesting. Wow, this is a real ass section. For real. I can't believe I was right that the game was gonna start with, uh, with Nibelheim. I am a genius. Big genius energy out here. Elixir. Cool. It was pretty obvious? No, shut up. Why wouldn't it start with this? Because in the original there was a uh, period in between Midgar and Calm, where you actually traveled to Calm. You could have started at the door. This looks like a fucking boss fight is what it looks like. Got fire. Defense allowed. Got it. Calling fire. Stand back. Hold still. 
Oh man, Seth is so fucking fucked. When an enemy's about to use an attack, it can't be guarded. Got it. Thanks to all the mob, no doubt. Try to mix it up a little. You need to bury your attack. Time to kick it up a notch. Oh fuck! Certain enemies have individual body parts, huh? Not doing so great. On me. Okay, left four leg, right mid leg, go! Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! Yeah! Juiced. You're practically panting. I'm excited. Such a puppy. Turn the tables. From coordinate, use double helix? Don't like the looks of this. Stay alert. Is that trying? Damn it. Wow, Cloud, I had, had no idea you and Sephiroth were um, nice work. so close in the story you're telling us. <laughs> okay, hold up. Maybe I'm missing something here, but everything you've said oh makes Sephiroth sound like a stand-up guy. 
I was so excited that I read that I read that fucking subtitle as stand up gay. I th I saw it. I'm not the only person, right? You saw it. You seen it. You seen it, right? Like your eyes played a little trick on you. Well, he was. And now he's pure evil, trying to kill everyone on the planet. Help me to understand. He was sick this. of straight women at the Tell club. Tell me something that'll really make my blood boil. <laughs> oh, I will. I will. It's the whole sequence. You wait out here, Tifa. No way! <laughs> I want to go too. Please. Sorry, no civilians. Even if we weren't on a mission. Come on. Keep the young lady safe. Carry on. Ugh. No girls allowed. You better keep me safe. I really wanted to see the reactor. <sighs> Would it kill this guy to say something? He's nervous. And actually, yeah, it might. It to be all systems go. You'd think it'd be running at reduced output, like most last gen models. And let me guess, pillagers don't have a clue about this. Knowing Shinra? Of course not. The company really needs to be more transparent. Tell that to the president. What exactly is the problem with this place? The people in charge. While most reactors are under the jurisdiction of urban planning, this one is overseen by RD. Huh. Why do I suddenly have a bad feeling about this? Whatever you see here, you are not to speak of it. Oh, I won't. I don't think transparency is going to be uh, at the top of their list, bro. By the way, somebody says, um, I don't know how Cloud could possibly know this because he wasn't here. They go back to the inn and go to sleep after this, so Zack told him what happened. It also means this is the least accurate part of the story. Doesn't he also absorb some of Zack's memories from the goo? You know what? Sure. Sure. Fine. Fuck it. Why not? It doesn't matter. Wow, that it. Whoa! Hum! to your sword first. Oh. <laughs> uh. Oh, 
Mojo. You are really something. What are those things? Genova? Wasn't that... So there's uh, somebody asked the why function must be forcing the pods to Hold on. Cloud, go out and shut off the valve. Copy. Yeah, Cloud. I need to brood. Faladea says, "Thank God there's no Genesis." You don't know that. there will be no Genesis. Why would they send Zephyroth here? Uh, there's a bunch of reasons. Uh, Genesis's soldier revolt led uh, Shinra to be understaffed. You could imagine that urban planning might have sent them instead of research. Hojo doing it for the lulls. Or they didn't think that Zephyroth would go crazy. for the production of artificial materia. But Hojo repurposed them as incubators, cages for animals, infused with Mako, all to birth a new breed of monster. But he didn't stop at animals. Oh no, there were other subjects. What would happen if you put a person in there? Morbin. He's Morbin out. And I was created the same way. Am I the same as these monsters? Sephiroth. Ever since I was a child, I knew. I think the funny thing is that, that he is in fact made by a completely different special, process. But not like this. back to the inn but when we got there Sephiroth locked himself in his room this would be a great time to take a break I will be right back excuse me
Let's go. Go.
By the way, to answer a couple of questions as to, uh, hey, how come Angeal and Genesis weren't there? Zach didn't tell Cloud. That doesn't mean they weren't there. It just means Zach didn't tell him. Also, hey, man, I want to say, thank you for such a good guy. My dog. He's a bulldog, if you don't remember. Uh, Because... I went over there and took a break and I said hello to everybody and Paige used a, a example a time to like go pee and I held the baby and I like to play a little game with the baby because the baby's old enough now that the baby wants to very tentatively pet the dog and the cat right so I sit with baby in my lap and then I you know Zangief's right here and they, they just look at each other and they just look at each other and they're like, and the baby reach out and the baby like just kind of slaps his jowls and kind of jabs him in the face and then tries to grab his, his, his cheeks. And Zangief is like, well, when I say slap, I mean, he's like, it's like a six, seven month old baby. So he's just like, you know what I mean? Like, like goo goo gaga, right? And, uh, the whole time Zangief is just like, move, he, it, I was just describing it to Paige. He moves in slow motion. Like when he turns to look at the baby, he turns like super slow and then he'll blink super slow. And then, and this is the, this is the fun game that we get to play is Zangief will lick his chops and start snoofing. And I'm like, uh Oh. Because what's coming is Zangief goes slowly over and licks the chops, slow licks the chops, and he's like, "I want to, I want to eat that baby." <laughs> and you go, "No, Zangief," because like, like there's been a couple of times when you're like holding the baby and the baby's like, like horizontal, and Zangief has like snuck up and been like. No, 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 on the top of the baby's head. He loves it. So something apparently the baby is delicious is delicious, um, because Zangief and Elmo, Elmo too, 
are like constantly trying to sneak up on us to lick the top of the baby's head. Like the other day, Elmo, we were, we were holding maybe and Elmo was just there. I'm like, nom, 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 blessing the child. And the child was like, yay. It was great. It was great. Animals are so great. You know, it's so crazy that I have like a, a fucking apex bird murdering predator and a fucking like bullfighting beast that live in my house. And I'm like, ooh, kiss on my infant. And they're like, nom, 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 nom. isn't that nuts? <laughs> like here, little Pat Jr., here's your small tiger and bullfighting beast. They're here so that you can pet them and they're soft. <laughs> uh, back to cloud stupid lying bullshit oh I'm not on the fucking screen shit oh, I'm, oh the mayor had been looking forward to having dinner with bona fide soldiers so he didn't take the news too well dad had to put up with his belly aching for hours afterward Huh? Hmm? Must have sucked. But what about Sephiroth? What happened to him? Oh, weird! He left. Didn't tell a soul where he was going. Oh, huh, that's strange. Our stories don't line up at all. <laughs> oh, hold on a second. Yeah. <sighs> Is this the night? I met Sephiroth as he was heading for Shimmer Manor, oh, and he yeah. acted like I wasn't even there. Busy, I suppose. Guys. Are we gonna get his completely unhinged fucking flashback? Hmm? Sephiroth? Ah, I did see him leave a little while ago. Don't know what B got in his bonnet, but the man was not in a good mood. So, Seer, unfortunately, he throws the materia at you and flies Looking away when you come here in modern he day, not left, in the flashback. Maybe he needed some fresh air? Because that is zany, and I, I love heard it. heard anything about the reactor, either. What happened up there, anyway? Don't worry about it, man. He's holed up inside the mansion. Something's been off ever since he came back from the reactor. Too much exposure to Mako? Then we ought to bring him some medicine. Oh, man. They're like, let's go help Sephiroth. He seems really nice. If you're looking for Sephiroth, I saw him headed toward the mansion. Sephiroth wasn't looking so hot when he passed by. Shinra Manor was the biggest building in town. And older than the reactor. The company used to conduct research there, back when they were still a small manufacturer. Even so, the rent on that plot was basically what kept the village afloat. Wow, that actually makes tons of sense. That's a great detail. Well, here we are. What now? I mean, the whole place is pitch black. You think he's sleeping or something? Apoc says, what? I missed it. The, the Shinra Manor is the oldest building in town. And it's where they did, like, small-scale research back when Shinra was just, like, a regular company. And the rent on the plot basically keeps the entire town afloat.
It. Monkey weed. I, I, I feel violently cursed by having to see the fucking phrase Hojo's Cuck Mausoleum. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Wow, this is extremely Resident Evil. Well, that's an interesting detail. That's the bridge we fell off. Took a look around the place, but Sephiroth was nowhere to be seen. I can't believe they're just doing all of it. This game must be so goddamn gigantic if they're putting out the entirety of the Nibelheim flashback like this. Oh, wait, did so somebody said, was that a... Was that a p piano thing? Piano book? Oh, it might be. It's not, unfortunately. <sighs> the demo's the entirety of chapter one? Jesus. You know what I might do, guys? You know what I might do? Because this demo is insanely long. Because I'm like, oh, I'm not going to not play the full game. The day before the game comes out, I might play the demo again and have that be part one. Never knew it had a basement. It was news to me Because holy shit. Doubt anyone in the village had a clue. Well, this is interesting. That would be, uh, that would be Vince's house. Well, I'll be. Let's not worry about that. This feels so surreal. It's like one of the most iconic rooms. Hey, man. Excavated from a 2,000-year-old rock layer. A life form in stasis. Professor Gast named this life form Genova. M-E-G-L 77-1977. Genova. Verified as an ancient. Uh, MEGL 913-1977. Genova project approved. So, they named the life form Genova. And once they understood what she was, they grew ambitious. Hey, Sephiroth. What you got there? <laughs> Leave me be. It is pretty funny how the entirety of FF7 happens because Gast made a classification error. 
basement. Reading, reading, like a man possessed. Genova's basically the thing, yeah. We got Genova. A locked reactor door. The name of Sephiroth's mother. An ancient. Ah, screw it. Racking my brain's not gonna get me anywhere. May as well just ask the guy. That's interesting. <laughs> ah, Cloud. I've come across the most fascinating passage. The specimen found in strata dating back 2,000 years smiled with what could only be described as ethereal grace. Though the truth eluded me at first, I later determined that she was an ancient, or a steward of the planet, as they are referred to in legend. You were not right. You were wrong. She needed a name, and so I dubbed her Genova. The Genova project was approved soon after. A bold initiative to resurrect the long-dead ancients. An initiative that resulted in my conception. Or rather, my creation. The crowning glory of Professor Gass' wondrous experiment! He created you? Zack is kind of dumb, isn't he? Sorry, I mean Cloud. I should go. Mother is waiting. asking myself why couldn't I have come too sooner well if I had maybe I could have saved the village or tried at least <sighs> what That's right, he was... he was helping save people from the fire. Public domain scream.
Is it true? Sephiroth did this? Oh, it was him, all right. And he's still here. So keep your eyes peeled. God. Get your head straight. I need you to secure the way out. Now. Yes, sir. Interesting. Sephiroth? But he... Why would he... Interesting. There's so many people around. Like a lion. Hold on, Mom. I'm coming. Do I have to go around or what? Yes, I do. No, you're good, man. Don't worry about it. So he says, I wish I, you know, woke up earlier, but like, by the time Zack wakes up, like, that's why there's more people alive. Because by the time Zack wakes up, they're all gone, and he goes straight to the reactor. Please. Please be okay. Sephiroth. That was Cloud. It is what Cloud told what he told him at the start of remake. What an asshole. Wow, this is played so flat. The way he's walking around stabbing people.
press any button for one more sneak peek? I'm back now, Aerith. I'm back. I won't say that it was fair. Therefore, we ask that you retrieve it. The Black Materia. Key to our oblivion. You should get yourself a reading! Well, Red, how do we look? Huh? <clears throat> It's got to be hiding some ginormous materia! <laughs> Don't misunderstand. You'll need a way home. So when you're ready, I'll be here. You said that Sephiroth is your foe. I have a history with him. Well, but With all this goddamn blood on my hands, how could I ever hold my daughter again? Those we hate, those we love, those we fear. Genova would become anyone to fool her prey. Don't do this! But I'm no fool. Here, take it. This isn't about me, though. It's about saving the world. And you. The reunion. How the when fuck are we gonna just hold Holy in our hand? I think the fact that there's a twin pack is so bananas. Bananas. By having completed Nibelheim, you'll gain access to the Junon portion of the demo. In the soon-to-be-released segment, you'll be able to control Cloud, Barrett, Tifa, Aerith, and Red. Check back soon. Elements of that demo have been streamlined. Bro, you know, you know this game is st stupid, stupid big ass gigantic if they're putting out all that shit as part of the demo. Yeah, the demo's getting a sequel. Third Strike at Evo, yo, hell yeah. Hell yeah, Third Strike at Evo. Oh man. That's what I get for hugging the dog. I didn't have that before I went on break, and then I hugged the dog, and he fucking slimed me. Uh, I love that dog. He's, he's gross, though. It is a burger stain by technicality. You're right. Max is showing bonus footage off on stream. Jesus. Well, I'm going to go eat pizza and convince my wife to watch Advent Children. Complete. Because I watched goddamn fucking Mary Martin's Peter Pan from 1960. All right, let's thank the people. Baller swag bro sub. Thanks, man. All I want is Gak to show up in Zach's story. We need him now more than ever. That is not true. Keith Meister sub say, hey, party people. Thank you. I appreciate it. Spec Ops Bear kicked in 500 bits. Your relationship with Tifa has changed, you asshole. You know be really funny? Is if you're like, yeah, I went through your underwear. And she's like, you asshole. And then it's like, Tifa likes you more. And you're like, huh? Baron Oroboros kicked in a sub. Says, my memory fails me, but does FF14 have any seven cameos? All I remember is that one, Clam Cloud Glam. The only FF7 cameo that I can think of in the entirety of FF14 is, aside from mounts and stuff like that, is 
the guard scorpion in one dungeon. Oh, and the weapons. Of course, the weapons. Yeah, the weapons are all there. Uncle Scrafty sub. Thanks, Uncle Scrafty. Oh, and, and Kate Sith is in um is in one of the raids. <sighs> it's really funny that the English voice director was like, oh, it's Kate Sith. And then like they recorded all the dialogue and then was asking an interview, like, isn't it Kai Shi? And they were like, no, it is. Uh, Stratioti, so thanks, man. As a soon to be, uh, as soon to be August new dad, what's the number one advice you would give from your experience? Like, Stratioti, do you mean for the baby or for um, uh, your wife's pregnancy or your pregnancy? Wait, no, wait, did new dad? Okay, yeah, your wife's pregnancy, fucking both. Um, about your wife's pregnancy. My number one piece of advice is that she is going through a very tough time. So, you know what? Maybe take a second and take a deep breath and close your mouth. Because she's going through a tough time. You know that moment where you're in a relationship and you're like, <gasps> just, just, just be like, she's going through a tough time. Just you know, like that. Especially, especially if it's about food. Um, as for. Uh, baby time. Uh, advice on baby time? Like, I don't know what I'm doing. Um, uh, 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 um, hug on them and smooch on them. Uh, they are going to piss and shit on you. You're just going to have to deal with it. Uh, don't drop them. Don't do that. Um, oh, yeah, I've been on Blue Sky for a while, Mia. Um, don't shake him. Don't shake him even a little. Not even a little. Not even once. They're, when, the, when baby first come out, very fragile. Treat them like, well, a baby. Baby them. Uh, Peach says, learn about active sleep. Uh, active sleep is a fun thing that we found out, though our Pat Jr. has had particularly active sleep. Active sleep is when little newborn baby is dead ass asleep and just start thrashing around and screaming and sounding like they're awake. So some people will run over and pick up baby and go, oh, no, poor baby, you're awake. But no. Check to see if they're actually awake. Because sometimes, because because our little guy for like two straight months, he would fall asleep and immediately start squawking and yelling and kicking. It is a trick. Not like a deceptive trick, but like a biological trick. Um, What else do I got? If your brain even thinks, huh, does the baby need a change? Just change the baby. Baby will appreciate having a drier diaper. Streamers are doing June on right now. You mean the streamers that had the preview access? Not lame Pat. Mm. Um, SBG 
91 sub. Thank you. Uh, Stradiotai, you know what? I'm going to go back to you for a second. Stradiotai, listen. Ask loved ones and known wise people in your immediate vicinity for advice. However, if your mom tells you something and you're like, I don't know, mom, that sounds really fucked up. You don't have to do it. In fact, any time your mom or dad give you baby advice, you should just double check that on the internet. Oh, you know what? They'll probably talk to you about the highest uh, at the hospital. The number one thing is safe sleep. Like you may be like, oh, my little baby is, is, you know, I want them to be comfortable. So I'll put blankets and pillows in their bassinet or their crib for them. Those are all baby suffocation devices. Crib bumpers kills the baby. Yeah. Even the pillow. Yeah, Absolutely. Cause, cause an infant can't roll over. So if they, if they somehow manage to like tilt their head in a way that their mouth and nose is on a pillow, they're done. The, uh, when, when we came home from the hospital, they showed me how to, how to, um, you know, make his bed. And there's two ways. One is swaddle him. Just swaddle the fuck out of them, right? Just full burrito, no arms out, no control, right? So there's that, and you can do, and there's also like a like a sleep sack kind of thing if you suck at swaddling, where it's it's just like it's a little little cocoon, right? Um, or ba baby in empty bassinet, flat on their back like this. And you use like a blank, you use like a sheet and you, you like, uh, place the sheet across like their belly button. And then you, you tuck the sheet underneath the, the, the bassinet cover super tight. So baby is like essentially like trapped from the midsection down. Uh, but don't take my word for that. Talk to a nurse or a doctor at your hospital when you deliver or a, or a practice to doula. Um, basically, you must, infants must be mitigated from their desperate desire to kill themselves. Everything a baby does when they're brand new is an attempt to kill themselves. So you're going to need to stop that. SBG91 kicked in a sub. Thank you, SBG. I appreciate that. Do not let your baby play Silent Hill, the short message. <laughs> um, Keith Meister kicked in five bucks. You know the game's going to be nuts when we're all freaking out over the trailer and the demo. Lamau, I know, right? Lamau, indeed. Oh, also, here's one. You know when you, you have your adorable baby and people want to, like, hold your baby? You don't have to let them. They might, like, make, like, a frowny face or, like, try and guilt you because they're, like, a grandma now. You don't have to do that shit at all. Also, now that... uh, uh um. Uh, Stratioti, now that you're going to be a dad, now's a good time to start, like, testing the waters about what stupid bullshit your parents think. Like, be like, oh, you know, we don't know how we're going to handle, uh, you know, peanut allergies or, you know, testing for that kind of thing. And then your dad could go, oh, that shit's a bunch of bullshit. You just give them peanuts and they'll be fine. Like, keep that in mind. Keep that in mind. 
not like to actually pay attention, but like there are there are moments where you're like, oh, I'll leave my my baby with grandma and grandpa, and they'll be fine. And then grandma and grandpa do some old fashioned shit that causes some kind of nightmare. Like peanut allergies aren't real. That has killed a bunch of kids. Dad Asana says feed the baby lead. You know what? Don't feed the baby lead. How about that? There's an idea. Babies don't sleep well. Give them that vodka. Oh, dude. Well, you know, Patrick, you know, you were teething just so bad. And the only thing that calmed you down after you had your bottle of hot water was uh, some whiskey. You know, we just, you know, rub it on your gums. I'm like... <sighs> Fucking bottle of hot water. By the way, don't give babies water. This is this is probably this is probably the the biggest one is don't give babies water. Uh and don't water down milk. Uh don't give them anything other than booby milk or or iron fortified uh, formula. NB Usagi asks why water bad? This may uh, surprise you, uh, but water kills babies. <laughs> um, so, you know how a baby is small, right? Uh, a baby is very small, right? A little baby is like this, you know? Um, they don't have a lot of blood. They actually genuinely don't have that much blood. So they need a lot of nutrients to get big, right? So they'll drink a lot. They'll fill their little baby stomach. So you give them water, you give them milk and the milk is way more calories than they're using. So baby grows. When you give them water as a function of their total blood volume, it actually represents a huge amount. You are like giving baby like 10, 20% of their blood by volume of something that is nutritionally void. So you are starving, like giving a baby water is starving them more than nothing because you are diluting their, their nutrients. So milk or iron fortified formula only. Foods here. Great. And Real Folk Blues kicked in a substance. Thanks for providing, blah, 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 providing entertainment for me in my worst days of life. No problem, man. I hope you are doing better. Also, um, Dad, when you have a tiny little infant baby... And you're hanging out with your tiny little infant baby and they're just hanging out in their little diaper, take your shirt off. That actually that, you know what? You can just do that like for a while. Why? Because skin to skin is good for baby. It's, it's, it, it is good for them physiologically and mentally. So like when, um, when Pat Jr., got lifted out of the sunroof. They put little Pat Jr. on Paige's chest, and she was like, oh, I'm a baby, and gave him kisses. And then as soon as we got back to the room, I took my shirt off, and I hugged on my baby for a little while while talking to the nurse, and then we put him to bed. Basically, it gives them the good chemicals. And, shocker, it gives you the good chemicals, too. 
You get a lot, man, babies give you lots of good chemicals. It's like doing drugs. Yeah, it's like doing drugs. Like, I, you know, it's so strange. Because people are like, oh, you know, it's a magical experience. And, you know, they try to, like, mystify it. No, it's like getting high. Like, I'm going to go over there. And I'm going to say hi to my wife. And I'm going to smooch my wife. And I'm going to pet the dog. And then I'm going to pet the cat. And then I'm going to, who's a little baby? And I'm going to do this. He loves this. He's old enough that I can wiggle him. And I, I wiggle him. And he, 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 like, goes like this. And he goes, ah! And then I smooch him on top of his head, and I'm just, oh, oh, chemicals. Oh, a flood of chemicals. It's good for you. On the, on the other side, when the baby cries, you get to enjoy... Ba your baby... You know how baby crying can cause, like, an anxiety response? Like like a, like a feel bad response that's like bigger than being annoyed. Um, your baby crying just floods you with bad chemicals. Just whoa! Every bad chemical your brain got. Here we go. It's so that you run over to baby and hold baby and kiss on baby and go meow, 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 And it works. All right. I'm out of here. I'm going to go eat some pizza with wife and baby. Uh, yes, babies are green mages. Um, and I will see you guys tomorrow. No, I won't. Stuff happened. I got to move stuff around. I will see you guys on Thursday for Infinite Wealth. I'm moving uh, tomorrow's stream to Saturday. Okay, bye-bye now, bye-bye now.